Well, I mean, it's kind of standard tuning. Uh, he uses all new heads every show. Uh, they're one ply mediums, attack heads. Uh, we get from universal percussion. We change it. He likes a, a real quicky, kind of high pitch. He doesn't like a lot of low end. There's no subs up here, no nothing, just wedges to kind of feel everything. He's got a thumper on the seat to feel things. Um, and he's got in here. So he likes that real attack kind of sound. Kind of higher pitched. All the toms are cut down. Especially with this kit being a bare ball kit. So the glass on it, it dents the drums a lot more. Um, so it helps new heads every show. A little bit higher tuning than we've been doing. Um, it also helps with Paul and Gene and Tommy up front with their ears, with everything going on, the bombs and everything that you've got that high pitch thing. We trigger them, the toms, the kicks, and the snare, only it's a fail safe for, for lack of better words. If something were to happen, a light were to go out, we've got the trigger uh -huh. on. In this way, in their ears, they've also got an underlying consistency. No matter what, they hear a certain tone. Always. Um, there were times when the New York blew out ahead. We would change it in the middle of the show, but in having the trigger there, we turn, we turn up the trigger on his mixer, provide the triggers. So it's a back cop. Yeah. Um, we have them in there only about 35% of the years, just like I said, it's underlying. It's about 75, 70% real drums, depending on the show, 25 to 30% trigger. Uh -huh. 